This is a video on how to make various size Moai statues from Easter Island. I first developed this method for producing the Moai statues back in 2009, and since then I've had hundreds of people purchase my template kit to fabric their own Moai statues. In this clip I have made three different size statues, a 90 inch, a 60 inch, and a 30 inch tall statue. This is all possible due to the adjustability of the template sizes from my kit. In this video, we are producing a 60 inch tall statue for a customer in Illinois. Okay, we're starting out with template 1 and 2 here, and I'm just screwing them together. This actually makes the uh, neck of the statue, which will then be screwed to the base plate, which is really actually the base plate that you're going to see coming up is actually number 1, where this is number 2 and 3 piece that I'm screwing together. Now I'm screwing it to the base of the statue which gives it the body and again that that protrudes out of it is just the neck at this point it's just to add stability to the neck now it's the back of the shoulders and just screwing on the piece that uh, makes the left side but you're going to see me cut and fold this into a uh, you know a chest shoulder area in the background there, you see Josiah, he's actually cutting out the 33 interlocking templates that make this, and I'm attempting to start the process of making the base right now, so still working on the shoulders. I did put the chin piece on that actually form forms the bottom of the chin. Now I'm still doing the shoulders here, and Josiah's taking a, a lunch break. Again, this statue is adjustable because the size that we print these templates can be you know, adjusted up and down. I mean, I made a 10-foot statue before and I made a 10-inch statue. This now is the back of the head and each side of the cheeks that you're seeing is put on. Josiah is actually screwing in the eye socket piece. It's a box that supports the eye socket. And I'm actually cutting out the, or getting ready to put the chin piece in. Now, I sped this up just slightly, just to make the video a little quicker. Looking for my razor knife. Now I'm going to cut this and start to fold and screw it together. The neat thing is, all these templates have cut lines, screw to lines, fold lines, all the instruction. Again, we have a four and a half hour DVD video that goes with the kit that shows me better than this, putting it together one step at a time, me instructing you how to do it. Not only just how to put the statue together, but how to mud, texture, and stain and seal it. So that template kit is available, and you can just call us by looking at the description area for my contact info. Just putting on the nose pieces right now. Again, each section is already developed to where all you have to do is trace it out, cut it out, and screw it together. Pretty simple. Right now we're on the lip area there's two pieces that actually form the lip on the face now we're doing the brow or the forehead above the eye socket and again now we've stood it up just to make it a little more accessible now again just starting to cut and fold and screw it down into position Josiah is actually holding uh, what was the uh, support inside the head, so to give it rigidity and structural strength. When I say structural strength, this thing is pretty formidable. I mean, you can see it picking it up and moving it. And I, I wouldn't try and build a house on it, but again, as a concrete form, that's all this is. And it, it provides great strength. Now we're boxing it up. The lady that we sold it to is a school teacher in Illinois. And uh, this was done for uh, a practical demonstration of cardboard technology for her class. So it's just a prop in her classroom. But we're boxing that up. And next you're going to see it with the uh, crate ready to ship. And I uh, hope you've enjoyed the video. If we can serve you in any capacity, give us a call. Like and share my video. And I appreciate you watching. Thanks. Bye.